So how many of you have the stuck cup holder problem with your B5A4? Typically what happens is that this no longer functions as it should. And most of that problem comes from a little tiny constant force spring that breaks off or becomes dislodged somehow. And the first symptom is that it will not open. So you push it, push it, push it, and it doesn't open. And that's because there's no spring force to pull it open. So if you do pry it open, eventually you can get it open, but then the parts fall back inside and you can't close it all the way. So don't go buying a new cup holder just yet because you might be able to fix yours. First thing you have to do is remove what is known as the hazard trim which goes around here. And that is probably a little bit easier said than done, um, but I did manage to get it on my second attempt. First I tried prying here in the corner and that didn't work so well because I managed to chip it just ever so slightly. And then I found another online resource that shows that you can actually pull your cup holder open halfway and right in between it in the middle if you take a butter knife you can stick it up inside that sp space between the cup holder and the trim piece and turn your either screwdriver or knife sideways and it will pry it off. So here's the trim piece I was referring to earlier, the hazard trim or the center console trim. And as you can see I did manage to chip mine but I found the piece that chipped and crazy glued it back on. We'll see if it stays. You can just barely see it now. And when you do pull this out, here are the clips that will most likely break off. So actually five of the six of mine managed to stay intact without breaking. But this one, probably from where I tried to pry it the first time, did break off. So I just pushed it back on in place and crazy glued it. And I'm going to let this dry overnight before attempting to put it back in the car. So to take this apart, you'll see that there's a little tiny gear on the back side here. And all that gear is for is a damper. So think of your classic spring and vibration damper example where you have a coiled spring and the damper just keeps it from going too quickly. Well, this basically just pops out. There's two little clips inside, and with a little, little bit of pushing with your finger, it just flies right out of there. Next thing when you open this, you'll see that there's also a rubber stop here to keep it from flying all the way out. Well, uh, you can typically just put and you just heard the constant force spring just fall apart. You can typically take a tool like a small flat bladed screwdriver, pry it under here, and the whole unit comes apart. So now it's in two pieces, and guess what falls out? The constant force spring and a little cylinder on which it rides on. So what you want to do is make sure you clean this up, get all sorts of residue on there. It should function very smoothly by itself. And then all that's left is this piece. Now there's another item floating around in here, and all that really is is a plastic piece that um, is, the, is the light. There's a little light bulb in back. You can remove that if you want to, but it's really not necessary for the repair. But you can see where this is, if this is the top facing upright constant force spring actually sits in here and when the cup holder is inside this is all stretched out such that when you actuate it it will want to spring outward so I'm going to try to stick it in here I'm going to move I'm going to put it inside and I'm not sure if you can see here I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I can focus it cylinder just fell out. I'm going to try to get it in here right on top of this clear plastic piece. That's the light bulb uh, path. I guess it could be like a fiber optic you could call it. And it will release if, 
if it's worn enough. But I'm going to try to push it in there and hopefully it'll stay. So you might want to bend the spring back a little bit and make sure it clicks right in there. So if you hold it with one finger, you can typically get enough room to get your other fingers in there. Of course, it just released. And then the air comes out the bottom again. So we put the screwdriver in, pop it apart. Alright, plan B. We'll see if this works better. I am going to put the spring on, stretch it out, try to hold it, it's a little slippery. Put everything back inside. It would probably help if I have it correct orientation. And now, with the cup holder slightly open, push the spring in. Opens, closes. Now, the last part is to put the little damping gear back in. And with it closed, just push it in through the hole, pop it in. And there it is, in the little drivetrain. So here, holding it upside down, open, closed. And once it opens and closes, flip it right back up. Good as new. Assuming that the spring inside here, which you can see, remains attached. I guess if it doesn't, you can always try some glue. But there should be enough force on it that it should stay in place. If not, well, just order a new one, I suppose. Hope that helps.